In today's video, we're going to look at using the functions called count, count A, and count blank. These functions can be found on the Excel 2019 exam. I'm going to put my cursor in B13, and the first function that I'm going to look at is called count. I'm going to click the insert function button. While these functions are simple to do, I want to encourage you for the certification exam to use the insert function button when you can because it gives you a description of the function, but it also guides you through the function. While count is more of a simple function, some of the more advanced functions could be keyed in wrong, and that function builder will help you. I'm going to go ahead and type in count. It says that the count formula counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. That contain numbers is key here. We'll go ahead and click OK. My value one, I'm just going to choose a random day of the week. Let's choose Tuesday for this. It tells me that the return value is going to be four. We'll click OK. And we can see that there are four numbers in this column. And Ryan didn't work that day, so there's nothing recorded. Let's look at this formula with a column full of text. We'll put our cursor in C13. Click Insert Function. With Count selected, we'll click OK. And this time we'll choose the range B5 to B9. It shows that we're going to return a value of zero. We'll click OK. The reason it returns zero is because this formula only looks for numbers and this column had text. Let's look at using the count A function. I have my cursor in B14. I'm going to click the insert function button. I'm going to type in count A. The count A function counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. Click OK. We'll go ahead and select that same range, F5 to F9. Again, it says that it's going to come back with four. Let's look at using that function with text. We'll put our cursor in C14, insert function. With count A selected, we'll click OK. And we'll select the B column this time. And again, we get back four. Notice this time that the count A function looked at this column, and even though it had text, it still looked at the cells and determined if it had anything in it or not. Let's look at count blank. Pull my cursor in B15. I'm going to click insert function, count blank. The count blank function counts the number of empty cells in a specified range of cells. We'll click OK. For this, our range, we'll go ahead and choose F5 to F9 again. And we'll click OK. And it shows that there's only one empty cell. Let's see what happens when we do that with the name column again. With our cursor in C15, we'll click insert function. With count blank selected, we'll click OK. And we'll choose the range B5 to B9, and we'll click OK. And when it looked, it found that there was one empty cell in that range. These count functions are simple enough to do. I do want to encourage you to practice them before you actually take the certification exam. If you haven't played around with this function yet, that way you feel familiar with it if you see a task question like this on the certification exam. 